Hello and welcome to today's Twin Flame reading for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and the current Union Energy as in the middle card. And I have two decks that we're working with today, the Rumi Oracle, and by, that is by um, Alana Fairchild, and then the Crystal Angels by Doreen Virtue. I also have some nice roses from my garden and this is from the meditation video that I put out earlier today if you want to check that out and I have a little candle for you as well and for me just for a nice uh, twin flame uh, evoking of the twin flame uh, union consciousness within each one of us and within you so don't think that you are separate from your twin flame union, you're not. So with that, let's get started. Whoops, try not to move the camera, put it in a better position, but now I have to, I have to um, be more careful because I know I like to make a lot of gestures with my hands. <laughs> so let's uh, start with the Divine Feminine card for today. And we have an upside down, so we're just gonna do a backflip here. Gymnastics, very nice. And yeah, we have a new gown, number 18. And um, it's really beautiful. A lot of kind of primary and secondary colors in her gown, so it really signifies that newness where things are still mixing together, but we have all of the elements present. And she's looking out into the, you know, the bright, sun or moon it looks like it really looks like a sunrise to me that's like kind of the feeling of it or like a really full moon but something very bright in front of her that is this sense of uh, newness and fullness but it's also again like just the beginning of it so yeah let that sink in for you if you're the divine feminine watching this and also if you're the dm how that feels that your uh, Divine Feminine is receiving this uh, this new gown and letting, letting go of something tattered that she's been holding on to, you know? Uh, maybe something that once served that felt really comfortable, but oh, there's something better. And even if it's a little bit like you're not sure if you're worthy of it kind of thing, like you look so good in the mirror, you just, you don't know if it really can be yours. But yes, indeed, this is the yes from the universe you need. Yes, it is yours, that thing that it is in your heart that you're manifesting right now, that you desire and that you can feel, and that's coming true in that process. And I want to read a little bit. I like to read a little bit from the Rumi Oracle because these cards are a little bit more abstract, some of them more than others. So... I'm going to read the poem. Weary and consumed by longing, I was caressed by my beloved last night. My wounded soul was set free. When I tasted the sweetness of love, my spirit was lifted at once. I surrendered my life while overflowing with joy, and my vision was filled with light. Love said, don't feel so hopeless, my weary and gloomy one for my generosity is beyond forgetting those devoted to me. See how boundless divine justice can be. Behold my immeasurable kindness. Love embraced my spirit and all my doubts vanished at once. A new and glorious robe of honor was placed on my shoulders. Love offered me the power of new vision and the transforming touch of divine generosity and placed the chalice of eternal wine in my hand. Wow, that is so beautiful. And I'll just read this little bit here. It says, this oracle comes to you with sacred portent. You are fast approaching a moment of a great leap, an evolutionary shift on your spiritual path. And so your divine, divine identity is about to be revealed and 
realized in a way more potent than ever before. And this is wonderful. So yeah, let's leave it at that. That feels really good with what I read there. And I just wanted to talk a little bit more about what I'm picking up on from my dream recently. Um, last night, I was in rapids uh, in a boat and I had a guide and she was calling on her phone to see what it is that we kind of needed when we arrived where we were going. And it felt a little bit, you know, tumultuous, but the water was really clean and clear and we were moving really fast. And I really wanted um, <laughs> Tulsi tea, if you're familiar with that. And there was kind of this like, I don't know, like if we can get Tulsi tea, uh, we'll see. But it was positive and I was asserting what it was that I desired. And there was some receptivity to that. And um, there was like some negotiating going on. And I, I woke up from the dream shortly after. So um, that was just kind of the point of the dream, really like moving through those rapids, I feel like and uh, getting clear there. And, um, you know, it, it did require me to surrender and have faith because uh, it felt like almost a little bit dangerous. We were just like, I mean, it was like bubbly water and little weird, you know, waves, like a fast rapid. So sometimes things happen fast, right? And you get a new gown and also your identity can be revealed in a very positive way. So if you've been having doubts or you've been just feeling like almost trapped because what you're feeling and what you're seeing in your reality or hearing from other people don't match up somehow, it's okay. You can just surrender and you can always find your peace and and this card is really taking you deeper with that. That there is a resolve here, but you also need to claim that, right? You need to claim your Tulsi tea for you and allow yourself to receive that and ensure that that um, the powers that be are, are doing everything to have that manifest for you and all that really means is you just asserting yourself gracefully and actually even more simply just accepting what it is that you're being offered and rolling with it right and letting it roll fast like don't control how fast this is moving even if it feels a little uncomfortable um you're gonna be pushed past your comfort zone sometimes, especially when you're reaching a deeper level of union with your twin flame on your journey, however that looks on the outside. And so I think we should move on the t onto the Divine Masculine card to see what's going on for him. So we have an upside down, oops, still getting used to yeah, this camera angle. Hopefully the card is nice and bright for you. Um, and yeah, let's put it right side up now. So we'll flip that phoenix over. Sacred phoenix heart. And number 21, that always kind of makes me think of, yeah, like a coming of age kind of number. So there's um, some kind of rebirth happening, kind of... Uh, going off of yesterday's reading, reading with that and rising from the ashes. And this also goes really well, of course, with the Divine Feminine's card about uh, receiving a new gown. So by the Divine Masculine allowing himself to transform and to really release uh, and go deeper with that, and you know, you're going to actually find just what you need at the core in the embers. Um, yeah, and I kind of, I touch on like a similar energy in my meditation earlier that I also mentioned a little bit ago with my flowers, but um, yeah, I mean, this feeling of of go, going to the center of the earth within where like that hot core is, right? And um, that's where, that's where the truth of your union is. 
So if there's things that become ash in the you know wake of that, then that actually is just to serve you and so that you know the purified energy can expand. So yeah, take this as a good sign. Um, you know, for the, the Divine Masculine is going through big transformation too, and so you're both supporting each other in this transformation in different ways. And so yeah, I'm going to read a little bit from card number 21 from the Rumi Oracle uh, for Sacred Phoenix Heart. Okay, so this poem's a little shorter. Under the cover of blood, love veils many rose gardens. In total faith, love tenderly guides every lover to the garden of the heart. Reason says the world is limited in six directions. There is no way out. Love says there is a way, and I have traveled it many times. This oracle brings a particular message regarding divine timing, that oh-so-significant factor in our dreams coming to life. Your time is fast approaching. It may even be now. It may seem least likely to you. There may be great darkness or confusion, and yet the unveiling of the new dawn is closest to the deepest, darkest of night. Do not turn back or away from your progress. Your very next steps shall be upon hollowed ground, rendered gold by the rays of the rising sun. So, yeah, I mean, it's uh, again speaking to that rapid pace. And so, yeah, just not turn back from what is already happening. And, um, yeah, I mean, you're fully supported in just moving fully forward and receiving what it is that you're receiving by surrendering to it and by partaking in the process. And again, that uh, in the poem, that theme of not feeling trapped or like there's no way out, right? So just uh, forgetting about that, forgetting about the reason of the six directions or, you know, it's described in the poem and knowing that there's there's more right there's love under that there's not just logic without love there's all everything is, is stemming from love so sometimes we can't see everything and we can't reason our way in or out of everything so we have to trust and keep going or sometimes we even know what the answer is but until we actually truly feel it it can't be fully revealed. So this is just that process. And so there's no reason to feel trapped and in just allowing this process to happen and to keeping going, your, your divine masculine, if you're the divine feminine, or if you're the DM, you're supporting the divine feminine in her new gown and receiving her new gown just by you doing this and really allowing her to feel the opposite of trapped, right? To feel free and one with source and then to receive more. And this also is really excellent for your union and cultivating um, abundance in your foundation in one way or another. And sometimes we don't always know, you know, where it's sprouting up first. So let's take a look at this card and spend a moment with this Herkimer diamond. I love, I love it so much. I think I got kind of that prism shimmer in it for you. So yeah, it's really about like burning away those obstacles really quickly. Um, amongst other things, that's what that crystal makes me think of. Multifaceted, titanium rainbow quartz. There are many layers and dimensions to the situation or person you're asking about. Wow, well, I think that this is an awesome card because it's really inviting both the DM and the DF into deeper surrender. You can't always know what's ahead until you just get there. And it's so it's safe to just, again, receive your new gown and to just keep going one step at a time and to not turn back because you've already come this far and it's actually just like, it feels good to keep going and you know it does and you know there's no reason to 
do anything else, even though there might be, you know, some fear that crops up along the way, um, who gives an F, right? It doesn't matter. <laughs> you can just say, get out of here <laughs> to that illusion. And um, this is rainbow quartz. So we're talking about layers. We're talking about um, all of the energy coming together as one, really, you know, the, a prism. So in surrendering to the journey and just allowing the layers to unfold, that's how the oneness is really happening, how the miracle and yet the, I guess, the ordinariness of union is happening. I mean, heaven on earth uh, is like its natural state, right? It, that's What's unnatural is feeling like we're in separation or like we can't um, be with our one true love, like um, union isn't for you, and you know, yada, yada, yada. All of that, you can just toss it in the trash, say goodbye, uh, let it just be, you know, soil for the good stuff, <laughs> and allow your union to grow from wherever it's at, whether that means just a little sprout. You know, sprouts can grow, grow really fast, and um, big plants can bloom really fast so it's all good and perfect you know your journey is is perfect right where you're at so keep going and um that's it and then uh within the next day or two i will be doing a reading for june for all of the sun signs um you know for those astrology lovers out there or just if you like your sun sign and you want you want to know more about what's coming up for you in june then look out for that so yeah, take care and all my links are below. If you're interested in checking out my readings or anything, um, more Twin Flame resources, and definitely subscribe to my channel if you want to you know, get notifications and stuff like that for all of the readings that I do pretty much daily. And I will see you again real soon. Enjoy the beginning of your week. Bye.